All signs seem to point to a fall 2020 release for Halo Infinite, and in this video I'm going to give you the reasons why. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another discussion video on Halo Infinite as we've had some recent information drop about Halo, kind of feel like re reconfirming my thoughts on the, when the release date of Halo Infinite comes out. I've seen a lot of comments in my videos talking about, oh maybe the you know, fall or maybe like a spring 2019. I remember still across the whole, still hoping for a fall 2018 release and a little surprise is all. But I'm really thinking that a fall 2020 release is going to happen and I'm gonna tell you in this video why. So if you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you wanna see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the video, what, what date you believe Halo Infinite will be released. And if you're new to the channel, we'll say update with anything Halo related. Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video here. Well, let's get right into the reason here. One thing I think the major thing you got to look into is just the announcement time frame of Halo Infinite. As we all know that in 2013, Halo 5 was officially announced at E3. Two years later, we had the release date. Now, I assume that Halo Infinite will follow the similar kind of path of being announced in 2018, maybe in some form of a beta in 2019, and then f actually fully released in 2020. Another reason being that every single Halo that's ever been released has come in the fall season. If you should look at this Google Trends graph, you can see that the top trends correlate along with the release of a game. So pretty much every fall season, there's been a new Halo game. Obviously, there are some major titles that do come out in the uh, late winter, early spring time. A lot of times those games get pushed back because they don't want to compete with all the people buying everything for the holiday season during the fall months because you have big games like Battlefield, or even Gears of War, Call of Duty, and even Halo as well gets get thrown in there. So a lot of times the games get pushed back like wait, this year, uh, I know that Mass Effect generally has been uh, traditionally was released during the uh, March, February time frame. Uh, we have the Division 2 coming out soon. Anthem was just released as well because they all would rather have those games released in the fall, but just because of the tough, tough, tough competition that there is in the fall, they push those games back a few months. So once people get tired of the fall games, they'll be willing to jump in for a late February, March era release. Now, don't get me wrong, I would love to be, get my chance to play Halo Infinite as soon as possible. I think we all would. Though, every release for Halo has been in the fall, and I guarantee you that Microsoft is mainly focusing on Gears of War to try to sell that game this year. They don't, probably don't want to split up their sales and compete with, with each other. And also, uh, with involving Xbox and the whole thing, that it probably will be re released alongside the new gen consoles. And I don't believe that we'll have new gen consoles coming out in 2019. I'm pretty sure you would have a full cycle of news, at least like a year in advance before that even gets released. Uh, we recently did have a huge leak about the new Xbox family coming out uh, that, that might be announced in 2019 for E3. Obviously nothing's been completely confirmed. So having Halo Infinite correlate its release along with a gen brand new generation of Xbox consoles would be absolutely huge for the Xbox console itself and for Halo and it would be the first time Halo is a launch title since their original Xbox back in 2001 which seems kind of weird for Halo being the flagship game of Xbox but that's just kind of how it's been working recently for uh, well these last few releases and so another reason here is that we have the Halo TV show coming that has been absolutely confirmed to be released in the fall of 2020. Uh, no exact date, obviously, but you know probably fall September to November release date around then. And generally, you want to try to release a show, something like a Halo TV show along with the max amount peak interest of a series or franchise could possibly have to maximize your view count because obviously the more views you're getting the more people watching your ads and so more people you know making more money off of these tv shows and since it's been confirmed on multiple websites that 2020 is the fall is the release time of the new tv show for halo that you'd think they'd want to correlate the tv show along with the release of the game at the same time so they both equally will rise in popularity. Another thing to take into consideration is the flight program that we will be having for Halo Infinite. Well, 
We had the Halo 5 beta that was attached to the MCC that came out in December of 29th of 2014 and ended January 18th of 2015 with a release of October 2015. So a, not necessarily an exact year, but a good amount of time before the release of the game to where it basically was a whole nother change of seasons until the next game came out. And so we haven't had any information about the flight program. We haven't uh, had any information about that. And the fact that, uh, you know, they, what they said was that they wanted to help create this game along with the community. Uh, the quote here on, our, on 343's website says, in the future we'll be able to join early flight programs that will let members of the community play the game with us and give direct feedback, much like the Content Insider flight program for MCC. It will take some time for us to be ready to kick those flighting events off, but when we do, they will start small and grow along the way. And for that MCC Insider Flight Program, the first dates actually happened back in April of 2018, and then the actual final patch of the MCC was released in September of 2018. Now, this is a little different though, because these patches are mainly just more stress tests to make sure that, like, yay, the game still works, right? Okay, that's this is what we want. What we're doing with the infinite is that it's more fundamentally changing the game and the balancing of it to make sure it's everything that halo players want it to be so you most certainly will need more than just three and a half four months to do a flighting program for this kind of game you probably we would need at least six months now generally if you want to try to get at least a good amount of information from a beta or at least a flight program you're going to need at least a year in advance or I'd say maybe eight months at the absolute you know, minimum to get a good amount of data in so you can have some you know constructive feedback going back and forth between the community, help create the Halo game that we all want and deserve. And as a side note as well, I did actually have a quick little discussion with actually an actual 343 employee because uh, I was actually buying a graphics card for him off of like Facebook and ended up being a guy who worked at 343 and I was like trying to get a little little three, trying to get a little Halo Infinite news for you guys right there and I was like hey you know can't wait for that game to come out and he gave me this kind of look like yeah we got a lot of work ahead of us now obviously a year's worth of development time is still a lot of work two years is that a lot, a lot of work or is it just a year of, of development time a, a lot of work you know something to take into consideration there obviously but i think with the correlation of the uh, projected release date of the new xbox consoles being in 2020 the announcement of halo infinite probably going to be using the same marketing program as they did for halo 5 which worked out really well and halo 5 was announced two years before its release as well the fact that every single halo game has released in the fall and also that we do know that the halo tv show is will be releasing in the fall of 2020 I can't help but be, feel absolutely certain that Halo Infinite will be released in 2020 in the fall, most likely in October or November, it would be my guess. 343 is also making some considerable hires as well there, where you, with these kind of jobs that they're hiring right now definitely tells you that the game is still in very much deep development at the time. Uh, we recently just hired on Justin Roby, who is the director of player voice, so basically giving you the medium of between the community and 343. Justin Roby is supposed to try to take all that information and give it to some, give it, get, make it useful for 343 to use. And the fact that they recently hired on Wes Price, very recently, as of just last, late last month, he was announced that he was working for 343 as part of the pro team. A team of players supposed to be correlated together to make some, make sure that the Halo experience is up to snuff when it comes to being a competitive shooter or just a fair balanced shooter as well, which tells you a very deep development right now going on for Halo, really trying to iron out that gameplay to make sure it's up to snuff and what we want for a Halo game. But connecting all these individual dots all together to come together and it looks like to me it's absolutely going to be a fall 2020 release for Halo Infinite. Obviously with E3 coming around soon in June, you know, we all could have everything flipped on top of our heads at the moment because all of this has not been confirmed obviously when the release date, but I'm just saying all signs, all roads lead to a fall 2020 release in my opinion. 
Let me, but if you have a different opinion, guys, if you have some evidence you want to show me as well, leave it in the comment section down below, as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you enjoyed this kind of discussion video and want to see more of them like this, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And also, if you're new to the channel and want to update with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. And if you missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.